I am here with Wallace, the travel guide on board Staten Dam. Hello. Wallace, tell me, what does a travel guide do? Travel guide does a lot of things. I give a lecture each day we're at sea in the morning and the afternoon. I either talk about the port, the culture, the history, the things to do in port, or on alternate days I talk, I just want to call cultural enrichment, or just pick a topic, for example, we talk about the pirates in the Caribbean, we talk about rum running in the Caribbean, we talk about the revolutions in Mexico when we're there, things like that. And I know you have an expertise in the Panama Canal, and we are on a Panama Canal cruise. Absolutely. So tell us what guests can expect to get from the transit of the canal. Well, it's just a fabulous experience. I think no matter how many times I go through, I, I'm just the first person on deck running around. It takes six to eight hours to get through the canal, and you'll see one of the most impressive pieces of engineering of the 20th century. We pass through the locks, which are almost 100 years old and still functioning without any problems. We pass through enormous Lake Gatun, and on either side of it, a, a beautifully protected rainforest. Then we get to what's called the Big Ditch, where it goes right through the Continental Divide. And that was the part of the canal that took most of the work. And, uh, and you see the, still the, the stair-step effect of the hillsides. And because of the tropical rainforest, the rain, and you see slumps, and they're constantly working, dredging to keep the canal in, um, in working order. And then we go through the last set of locks um, underneath the beautiful Bridge of the Americas and the Centennial Bridge, and then out into the Pacific Ocean with on our port side, the incredible skyline of Panama. It's just it's just an amazing experience. And crocodiles, so likely to see crocodiles too. Now it's very clear that you have a passion for the Panama Canal. Oh I do, I do. I love the Panama Canal. Now how did you develop this? I know you said you lived in Mexico, Costa Rica. What brought you here? Well I did some work, some research work in Panama. When I first saw the canal I was just really impressed and uh, there's nothing but there's nothing like being in it. You can you can see the canal from the visitor center and it all looks wonderful. Well, being on a ship, actually transiting the canal is just, I don't know, it's just an experience that is to be overwhelmingly wonderful and exciting. Um, I don't know, uh, it, I think it's just the beauty of the country combined with the amazing feat of engineering. And being a science nerd myself, that's probably the attraction. And now you're here and you get to talk to the guests about it. Do they come up to you and ask you questions? Oh, all kinds of questions about how deep is the lake, how deep are the locks, why are we doing this, what are the locomotives for, and hopefully I'm, I'm able to answer all of those questions. Now, what is your favorite thing to lecture about? What do you enjoy most? Whether Do you like something historical? Do you oh, like I do. I, I like the history of Latin America. And that's and one of my favorite things to lecture about is the history of Mexico. All the revolutions from Cortez coming in and conquering the Aztecs all the way through Viva Mexico. My other, thing to, my other favorite thing to lecture about is the, the rum running in Prohibition in the Caribbean and how rum came to be our favorite drink. Great. Well, you have quite a few transits coming up. Yes, we do. Well, good. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time. I will. Thank you for speaking to us, and we can feel your energy. We know the guests are going to love hearing about the canal and learning about it from yes. you. So thank okay. you. Thank you.